and do not necessarily represent the opinions of this station or any of the show's sponsors. 888-589-8840, AFR Talk Financial Issues. I'm Dan Seeley. It's great to be here. And uh, reminded this morning as we head into Christmas break, I don't usually say this at the middle of the program, but uh, reminded this morning how grateful I am for the financial issues team, uh, Will Addison and uh, on video and Ann Reed on the phones and Adam Suddeth. Uh, so grateful. Uh, it, it wouldn't, it's just not the same. You know, it's hard. We, we have, uh, I, I shouldn't say we, I, financial issues, we struggled a bit uh, sometimes, you know, keeping continuity due to various uh, issues, mostly all good, all due to growth and uh, of the network, growth of uh, AFR talk uh, and those kinds of things. Uh, but, you know, I'm so grateful for the team that we, ha- we have and I sure appreciate them as I think about the upcoming 2013 year. Um, You know, I I talk about, I was talking about the AFA Foundation to uh, a friend of mine yesterday and was saying that um, it is truly an A-team that God, by the grace of God, uh, we have put together at the AFA Foundation. And it has been such an incredible blessing. And I was talking to him about all the lessons that I have learned in reference to um, you know, really uh, getting getting an, a, a foundation starting. This is the uh, second foundation that I have been um, involved in as far as intricately involved in. I've consulted for many and uh, had another kind of startup one that, that I was involved in for 12 years. But uh, I've, I've had so many uh, lessons learned from the great uh, – way that things have come together and as God has blessed that. So good stuff happening at AFA, as always, in AFR, and I sure uh, appreciate it and uh, don't want to let it go unnoticed, at least by me anyway. Uh, Let's get to the phones, 888-589-8840. Let's quick look at the markets before I do that. Um, Everything is in negative territory slightly, nothing to speak of, and again, primarily due to the you know, the, the, you, so, so here's what you would think. You would think that a 3.1 third quarter GDP growth would be, wow, right? And by the way, in years past, in years past, uh, going back to pre-2008, that would have been pretty good news, I guess. I mean, I guess it depends. In other words, it's growth in the economy. See, 3.1 is growth, folks. I could, there's no way I can spin it. There's no way I can make it sound negative. There's no way other, you know, assuming the number's real. Uh, there's, there's no way, you know, you can, anybody can sit and say, well, you know, I'm not going to ever say it's not good enough. Anything, in my opinion, above 2.5% is positive for our economy. The beauty of it is it's about the economy, not about the markets. So I can't spin it in a negative way. So it's very, very uh, uh, good news, and it's one that we should, you know, think about. But and in, normal, and in normal conditions, it would be a driving factor in what is moving the markets around the globe, but primarily here in America, to a positive note. Not this time. So you always have to wonder about that, or at least I always do. Uh, So what are the other factors? And it would only appear that the other factor is um, the fiscal cliff. I mean, it can't be anything else. And people still uh, concerned, and their concern for that is now trumping anything else, uh, apparently. So all the indices in negative territory, not by much, not even worth talking about. I mean, they're flatlined for all practical purposes. I mean, the Dow's down 12 but, you know, 12 points is not even 1%. I mean, it's not even, uh, you know, a half of 1%. So it's not a, not a big deal. Let me go to Jimmy. Jimmy calling us from Tennessee. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, how are you this morning? God bless Good. you. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank you for rebroadcasting my testimony, how God helped me to work my 
way out from under the my wife's hospital bills and everything. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that or not. I do. I do remember it. Yes, I uh, do. And I'd like to thank you and everybody at AFA. They, Sandy Rios and a friend of hers prayed for a friend of mine that needed a liver transplant. Mm-hmm. Two weeks later, they got, he got a call from Vanderbilt Hospital that they had a liver. Well, they got mm. up there, and the liver was bad. So they were disappointed, and they almost got home, and they called them, and another liver was available. Mm, praise God. Wow. And he turned. they turned around went back, and he's doing great. He's recovering now. He's turned his life around. Don't mm. let anybody tell you that the power of prayer is not there. Oh, no doubt about it, Jimmy. And, no uh, doubt about it. And you're a rock. You make my morning every morning. Oh, thank and I'll, you, I'll let you go and talk to the other people. But thank you very much, sir, and God bless you. Thank you, Jimmy. You've been an encouragement to me. And, you know, um, I've, I, I think about the Ministry of Financial Issues and AFA, and I think about the, you know, the financial situation of, of, of you know, at least this ministry and thinking about, you know, I'm, I'm not one that gets on the air and uh, talks about uh, giving or donations uh, don't want to ever be the, to that place. I'll be whatever God raises up, and I'll do whatever I can with it. But um, the encouragement uh, and and the gifts that people like Jimmy just gave me is uh, far more important, and I so appreciate it, Jimmy, and I appreciate your uh, testimony to God and prayer. Uh, we all We all need reminders of it, and uh, I appreciate that. Let me see. Can we get Bill in here? Let's go to Bill in Texas. Hey, Bill. Uh, good morning there, Dan. Uh, listen, the Mayans have all got their new calendar pulled up on their website <laughs> laughing at us about, you know, they went paperless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. All I know is I, I told my wife that I'm certain I'm going to be doing a uh, Saturday show. So uh, I'm not, I'm not right. worried. So I told her not to plan anything for Saturday morning. I'm sure I'm going to be doing the show. Anyway. Well, uh, <laughs> No, I'm disheartened about uh, you can't go in a store and, and uh, you know, I'm going to give money for Christmas because I don't have the heart to buy uh, Chinese-made merchandise and give to my family. Mm. And it's so hard to find anything. And then here just uh, Monday, my housekeeper bought, brought my little grandson a little package and me an LED headlight, and we opened it, and it didn't work. And that has happened time and time again with other things that I've bought. Uh, you wear it two times and it rips apart. Uh, when is the American public going to realize that we're perpetuating child slavery by buying this stuff? That, that we, we are not getting our money's worth. We've been jilted every, every, at every turn with this, this uh, uh, inferior made. And uh, I would pay more. For yeah. boots, jeans, I, I insist on American-made boots. I try to buy American-made jeans, but they really don't exist. But I, I, I do have a brand of overalls. I, I follow that they're American-made. Uh, but it, it's just so disheartening that uh, it is. in doing so that you're perpetuating child slavery and child labor in these other countries. You know, Jimmy, you make a great point, brother, and you're so right. How things would change. I think I'm going to talk a little bit about that when, when we get back off this break.